Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to use the Taskmaster. Um, the Taskmaster can be used to add tasks to your missions and it's join in progress compatible. So if you're going to learn how to do scripting, you may as well use this one. It's not simplest, but it's good to start right. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is create a trigger. Make it as big as you want. Um, activation, we're just going to use anybody can activate this. And you can use whatever you want. So, say your task was to destroy a ammo crate, you'd put alive ammo. And um, you'd create an object named ammo. Okay, ammo one. So the condition for this trigger is dead ammo one. So that's the easy bit. Um, we can easily trigger that just by blowing up um, the ammo box. Um, what you want to do is copy this code. inside the act. Um, so what this will do is it will delete um, the marker which is created when you um, start the game or set the, set the task. Um, task 1, so this is task 1, is succeeded when this is achieved and task 2 will be assigned and it's called through the taskmaster dot thing and it does a bit up. So um another thing you want to do is create a marker called this. Um I've already got a marker called that, I'm just go delete them markers. So I'm going to create a marker and stick it on top of the objective. So if we go into preview, you can see I've got my task there. You you fill this in in the init. So I'll show you how to do that in a minute. And this is the ammo box that has to be destroyed. I don't have anything to destroy it. Just gonna change this into an ordnance crate. You, you don't have to use um, a condition like this. The condition could be as something as simple as basically walking into the trigger. But I'm just showing this um, as a good example. Gonna set up a satchel, and we're gonna blow it up. And you see, when I blow up the um, ammo box, it will basically trigger the trigger because that's the condition uh, for the for the trigger to go off. The ammo box must blow up. Okay, so it's assigned task two and made task one as succeeded. So now I'm going to show you the init file, um, basically the thing that makes all this. Okay, so now you browse into your mission folder, which can be found in your documents under Armor 2 and your missions. Um, inside your mission folder, you want to right click um, New Text File, and when you've done that, you want to also copy and paste the taskmaster.sqf. Uh, script as well, which will be in the in the description below. So when you've made a new text file, you want to copy and paste the other init.sqf um, description, which is below. So here we have the tasks: task one, task one title, task one description, true, mark task one 
get marker, position, task 1, marker, start and kill a red. Okay, so task 1 is what calls it. So, and task 1 title is what will appear in your tasks, and task 1 description is obviously a description. Um, true can be switched with east or west, whichever side you want to see the tasks. Um, mark task 1 is the marker that will be made, and over the task 1 marker. So the task 1 marker is basically the marker you place on the map where the objective is. Um, so when you've made your mission, you're going to want to place down a marker for task 1, you name it task 1 marker, and the script will basically add a marker to that. Um, you can change the icon of the marker by changing the start to end dot um, I'm not sure what other ones there are but there's loads of different types and of course you can change the colour at the moment it's colour red you can change that to colour green, black, white anything um, and task 2 it's the same again except you, you notice this time mark task 2 and task 2 marker are both different that's because they're both um, different places. So for task 2 you'd place down a marker for task 2 marker and that's where the task will show on the map. I hope this makes sense. Um, it's a very complicated um, script. Um, there's much more detail in the website linked below. and. I hope this video is at least something to get you started on your journey towards um, making tasks the proper way. <laughs> it took me ages to figure it out myself so uh, please forgive me if my explanations aren't entirely clear. Um, after you've finished messing around with the tasks you're just going to want to save as an init.sqf um, this will basically make it work um, if you do what I did in, edit in the editor as well. Um, any questions feel free to ask.